Hello, I'm Bob Moore with Supermicro. We're here today talking about the new Supermicro Universal GPU product family based on the new Intel Xeon 4th generation scalable processor. Fortunately, I have with me today Alok Shristoff, our Senior Solutions Manager for this product line. Alok, thanks again for being here with us. We appreciate thanks, it. Thanks both for having me. We happen to have two of these universal systems here today. We've got this 8U and then the 5U. Comes in a 4U, but we've got this one here in, in the 5U. The 8U has the eight GPUs in it, and this 5U has the four. Right now we've got the NVIDIA H100s in there, but why don't you start by telling us why we call it and have branded it Universal Systems. So to begin with this particular design, um, it's a very unique design from Supermicro. And at Supermicro, as you all know, we follow this building block architecture. And on this particular system, it goes to a whole new level. The modularity design and all this stuff, the building block, it goes to a whole new level. On these platforms, you can simply divide it into two, the upper deck and the lower deck or the upper drawer or the lower drawer. And the lower drawer is with motherboard. And uh, with minimal changes, what you can do, you can swap the motherboard. And similarly, on the upper deck, this is where the accelerators or the GPUs are. Here also you can do the same thing. You can swap the GPUs. You know, we have all these options available. It sounds really great. Yeah, this building block approach has yeah. really been super for Supermicro because it allows us to get our products to market so much more quickly than some of our uh, competitors. Yeah. Time to market is key, and especially when we're running applications like these do in the artificial intelligence world, and they're so important that we have them to our customers just as quickly as, uh, as possible. Uh, we'll, we'll get into the uh, GPUs here because we'll open this up, but why don't you first give us a little overview. We've got the storage down here with the 24 drives, comes with eight, then we've got an option for eight more, and with another controller card, yeah. you get up yeah. to 24. Tell us about that, and of course, the huge amount of memory we got in, on the inside there. So on the specs, real quick, as you mentioned, this is you know powered by Intel's Xeon scalable fourth generation processor, right? It is a dual processor, so two processors, 32 DIMM slots. All these uh, DIMM slots are DDR5. So compared to the previous generation, it used to be DDR4. So it's a big change. This is going to be DDR5 memory. And uh, since uh, there are 32 DIMM slots, it can go up to eight terabytes of local memory. At the same time, it supports NVMe U.2 drives by default, you know, eight, eight of them. And these drives are via PLX switch. So what it means basically, this storage capacity is available for GPU direct storage. On top of that, you have option of adding eight more drives and it has two M.2 drives for operating system as well. On expansion slots, this supports PCIe Gen 5 bus. So it can go up to 400 gigabits per second next. By default, it supports 10 of them. Um, eight are via PLX switch, so those are available for GPU Direct RDMA and GPU Direct storage. Two additional cards for additional networking. On top of that, you know, very important thing on this particular system that you, you pointed out correctly, that uh, that is going to be a DPU. So DPU is a third, you know, compute block or a compute unit at a node level. So CPUs for serial processing, GPUs parallel processing, sure. and DPUs will take care of the infrastructure management part. That's a whole lot of compute power. Exactly. And I always get the question, why the AU form factor? I'm sure it's because it helps facilitate with the air cooling if you go that direction. I know we have liquid cooling, but for air cooling, this really helps. Perfect. Again, a very good question. So, you know, what is happening? This is one of the biggest jump you can see in terms of components. Just to put things in perspective, the previous generation, we used to have uh, the processors or the CPUs up to 270, 280 watt TDP. Now, moving forward with this next generation, it is going to be up to 400 watt TDP. So it's a huge jump in terms of TDP just on processors. Now let us talk about the accelerators or the GPUs. So on the GPUs, it used to be around 400 watt TDP. The next generation, it is going to be 700 watt TDP. So you can see a huge jump and that too, you have eight of them. So you need lots and lots of, you know, the, the airflow to keep that cool. To keep them cool. Well, let's take a look at those then if we want to slide yeah, sure. this drawer yeah. out. These are the, uh, again, the, the NVIDIA H100 and the SXM form factor. But do touch on the fact we got NVLink and NV Switch in this too, so we get the uh, higher connectivity rate. This is one of the most advanced AI building block available in the market as of today. On this platform, the beauty is that, okay, it, it has these eight SXM um, GPUs or accelerators, and all these GPUs, they are connected via um, NV, NV switch. So there is on board, there is NV switch. 
So what happens is that all these GPUs, they are connected via that switch in a non-blocking architecture, which is very important. Mm -hmm. Because each GPU, it has the maximum bandwidth which is a, that is available is 900 gigabytes per second. And that too in a non-blocking architecture. And as I mentioned, you know, these are one of the most advanced accelerators. So you can imagine that you put eight of them with this non-blocking architecture. So it makes it a very, very powerful compute block. So we get 900 gigabyte connectivity between all of those uh, eight GPUs. Exactly, now. exactly. Because it is in a non-blocking architecture, yes. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, let's slide that back in. We'll talk a little bit now about the top one here, the 5U that we've got. Uh, this is a 5U, we got the 1U here for airflow. Now this has got the 4 in the same SXM form factor, but it's got a little lower connectivity between the GPUs because it's just got the MD link. On this one again, this is also powered by NVIDIA's uh, latest and greatest accelerator. So that is H100, it is an XXM form factor again. But the difference is that on this one, there is NV switch. And on this particular system, it is only four accelerators compared to eight on this, right? Here it is four. And all these four, they are, um, they are in a mesh topology. Oh, on the ATU system, it was uh, in a non-blocking architecture using NVSwitch. Here, there is no NVSwitch. So the maximum bandwidth, what this particular system has, the H100, that is 900 gigabytes per second, that is shared with three GPUs. So for peer-to-peer -peer communication here, you are getting 300 gigabytes per second. Got it, okay. Yeah. And how about a general overview of the rest of the technology? Still, we've got the Intel processors in there. Yeah. Uh, you've got their storage and 32 DIMMs of memory as well. Perfect. Yeah, so all those things are pretty much same here. You know, so this is also powered by Intel's next generation, fourth generation Xeon scalable processor, two of them. And it has 32 DIMM slots. Again, that can go up to eight terabytes of local memory. And by default, you know, it has 10 these drive bays, 2.5 inch drive bays, and eight of them are via PLX switch again. So what it means basically, those drives are available for GPU direct storage, and two additional drives for additional storage. On top of that, you have, you know, 10 PCIe slots on this one, and um, these are also via PLX switch, so they are available for GPU direct RDM and GPU direct storage. Got it. And with these higher thermal de design points you were talking about, liquid cooling's got to come into play. Both of these can be liquid cool. Tell us what that does to help our customers with lowering their carbon emissions, uh, lowering the sound that, that is produced by these servers, and uh, overall being more energy efficient. So, you know, first of all, to, to begin with, all these um, uh, especially this ATU, this will be available in three different versions. There's, we're this showing one, the front yeah. or the rear connect here. This one is have. rear I.O. Yeah. Right? Of course. And we will have the front I.O. version of this one. And with front I.O. OCP compliant. So there will be three versions of this one. On top of that, all these three versions, they are going to support liquid cooling. All these three. Perfect. Similarly on this, this one right now is based on Intel and this is also going to support liquid cooling. And we're building in security, so we've got in all these new uh, solutions coming out from SuperRyco, we got the hardware with the trust that's anchored yeah. in, the, in the BMC, we have a secure supply chain, and not a lot of people know that uh, all made in the USA can be made here in our San Jose facility, right? That's uh, again a very, very important point that these are you know manufactured here, made in USA. And as far as security is concerned, so one very important point, you know, which we would like to mention here is about these GPUs, that it comes with a unique feature that is, um, that is called confidential computing. So on these GPUs, you can slice and dice, especially, you know, for cloud computing type of environment, what you can do, you can slice and dice each GPU, and you can have up to seven tenants on this particular system because of confidential computing and this extra layer of security. Whereas the previous generation, it used to be, you know, you can slice and dice GPU into seven partition, but ma maximum only one tenant. Right, right. So we've got uh, built-in security, we've got liquid cooling because we're helping our customers reduce their carbon footprint. We got secure supply chain made in the USA. We got building block approach where we're getting these products to market much more quickly because of that building uh, block approach. All this coming together to make a really powerful universal GPU product line from Supermicro, available now. And it sounds like it's very exciting. And Alok, we appreciate you being here discussing that with us. And thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for having me, Bob. Thanks. Learn more at www.supermicro.com.